Welcome to this Creo Design Exploration Extension Overview. My name is Rory Allen Bocop. I work here at Root Solutions and I'll be running through this demonstration today. Creo Design Exploration creates a risk-free environment where users can explore design ideas, concepts and modeling solutions. Without design exploration, it can be hard for users to manage and keep an organized workspace where they can safely explore design solutions. Users will find themselves having to constantly back up and copy models to new folders in order to save design iterations, repeatedly close or clear in-session data, and be forever switching between working directories to avoid overwriting existing models. The same issues are again apparent when it comes to reviewing designs. Therefore, it is often easier to resort to screenshots or renders when discussing which design ideas work and which ones don't. This inability to be able to move freely between designs within the 3D environment restricts the reviewing process. Once the exploration process is finished, the job of sifting through the results begins, and how best to incorporate the ideas into the original design. Without design exploration, the process and path of how the final result was obtained is rarely documented, making it hard to support or revisit those decisions at a later time. A design exploration session is started when the user chooses to start or open an existing session. For this demonstration, I'm going to open up an existing TMU file called husky underscore razor underscore knife. When using design exploration, engineers are able to rapidly conceptualize and explore concepts using branching to manage and track design alternatives. Save checkpoints are easily opened and evaluated without having to clear in-session data or switch folder when reviewing or evaluating designs. In this example, after reviewing the various checkpoints, we have decided to build upon the existing sculpted handle checkpoint, labeled modified end. To improve upon this concept, we will first modify the shape of the razor knife and handle by editing the defining top profile curve. After the curve has been edited and the model geometry being regenerated, we can continue to make changes to the handle by defining the modifying surface geometry. To do this, we will open the handle part and edit the freestyle surface feature. The surface geometry is easily edited by modifying the control mesh and vertices to change the shape of the underlying surface. In addition to changing the surface geometry, I'm going to delete and add rounds to both the interior and perimeter edges. Now that we have finished making changes to the handle, let's close the window and return to the razor knife assembly. The first thing to do is regenerate the geometry and update the right handle part. If we are satisfied with the changes and want to save the design concept, we simply double click the option to add checkpoint and provide a name. Users can add as many checkpoints as desired and choose to accept or apply design exploration changes at any time. If the user wants to continue exploring options without saving the changes, the option to save the design exploration session is selected and the session is closed. Creo Design Exploration Extension allows engineers to rapidly try out ideas and explore design options, manage and work with multiple versions of the same data, safely work when making significant changes to complex designs, document, review and share the history and evaluation of the design exploration, instantly move between versions to evaluate and compare the design options and alternatives, and rapidly incorporate the results of the design exploration back into the official original design. Hopefully you found this video demonstration useful and thanks for watching.